What's up guys? Happy Thursday. It is a beautiful day out. It is about 6.15 right now. It is, uh, I want to say, 81 degrees here in Raleigh, North Carolina. And as I mentioned yesterday, I have this box of stuff from uh, last summer from camp. And we're going to go through it and uh, pick out all the stuff that I need to bring, need to put in another room, or maybe just throw away. So let's go ahead and then go through this box. So this is the stuff I already have to take to camp. And uh, most of this stuff in here is uh, just like random clothes. So I don't really need the stuff on top. It's more the stuff at the bottom. So here are the bathing suits, uh, the leftover bathing suits that uh, we cast aside that we're not gonna bring. And uh, here we go. We're getting into the, to the actual stuff. So have some bandanas, a uh, random sock that actually could just go right over there. <laughs> uh, got a cup. My dad actually powder coated these, uh, so it's got NC State and Appalachian. Uh, this one has my name on it. This one also has my name on it and the state logo, and it has a paw print on the bottom. Yes, <laughs> uh, this one doesn't have anything on the bottom. Just the uh, Appalachian logo and my name. So love these cups. I've used these just all the time. Uh, last year, I guess I haven't used them in a while. Um, Got some tennis balls. I don't need to bring these. I brought these last time because they said on their suggested list that uh, you could bring a tennis racket and uh, some tennis balls, but they have like hundreds because uh, they actually have a tennis coach that that is also there. It's one of the activities and uh, the kids can go and get private lessons and all that. So they have plenty of balls and I didn't really play any tennis. And if I did, I just used whatever tennis racket was there. So uh, we got some pink socks and at this camp, colors are everything. So you want everything to be loud and proud. Okay. Uh, you are, you will not stand out by wearing bright colors. <laughs> Everybody wears bright colors and it's awesome. So, uh, here, so as I mentioned, my bracelets, um, this is the string box that I bought last year from Walmart. And you can make all sorts of different patterns with these. I was using, or I was doing the, uh, just the normal patterns because I was a rookie. I had never made these uh, bracelets before. So, uh, and just FYI, it did not come color, uh, color coordinated. So that was a little bit annoying. <laughs> so I had to put it in there myself. All the ones that I watched on YouTube, they were all color coded. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. Went to Walmart. They're not color coded. You had to do it yourself. Like, what the heck? So uh, I did that uh, when I got it because it looks awesome, does it not? Uh, let's see. You got beads, a whistle. Um, we got more of this stuff. This. I don't know if y'all ever heard of uh, Eno. Uh, they are uh, hammocks. And they are super easy and fast to set up. So I will definitely be bringing that. I'm bringing this, so we'll set all that stuff over here. Uh, with cups, I might bring one of these cups. So I'll bring my state one. And then bandana, I'm definitely bringing. We'll put that right there. Uh, ooh, this is actually a keep here because this was when I was an advisor for, uh, I guess it, it was Color Wars and uh, you know, this, this went on my head. It was, uh, all the, well, I was the only advisor, but the advisors of the, the teams. So there were six teams or whatever, however many colors of a rainbow. And, uh, let's see, there was, hold on. There was green and purple were interchangeable between the two sessions. Then we had blue, purple, yellow, orange, I think that's it. Yeah. So however many colors that was, uh, and remember green and, uh, purple are interchangeable, but, uh, that's why I got this. I was an advisor and uh, which is a special role within, within that team. So I'm a blue flambo forever. So I only have to bring blue for color wars up there instead of all those colors, which is very nice. Okay. Uh, I bought this on the way home because I had not had peanut butter in three months because uh, due to peanut allergies and all that stuff, you're not allowed to have any peanut butter at camp. So on the way home, 
I grabbed me some of that, and I mean, I just grabbed the cheapest stuff. I don't even think I ate that much. Yeah, no. Oh, I gotta sneeze. <coughs> oh, thank you. Um, we have some neon colors. Uh, let's see. So last year I made, I want to say like 30 of these bands. I was cranking them out. Uh, what you do here, I'll get my uh, water bottle. So what you do is hopefully you have a water bottle like this. You will tie the string, which is about, I don't know, it hangs down about this much. And, uh, you'll like sit here with it tied and you'll like do it with your fingers and just make the bracelet as you go. And it, it you, the fastest I ever made it was one, one row a minute. So <laughs> it took me 45 minutes. I did like 45 for each one. Cause that gets you around all the way. And of course I did it on my wrist. So all the kids wrists, it would, it would always fit, which was perfect number. So, uh, blue, I will take this, obviously taking this, taking that as well. And then, all right, this, this came with the, <laughs> with the string box because they're not in really intending people to make bracelets. They're, you know, for sewing and stuff. So this is for needles and let's see. So from green team, <laughs> that's funny. Uh, so I brought, I bought a long sleeved green shirt. This is when I bought, uh, this is when I bought this as well, uh, for green team. I bought it that morning. <laughs> uh, I went over to Walmart, got this too, bandana. I was greened out. Okay. I had everything green on and yet I still wasn't the, the brightest colored person there. I mean, if you wore, everybody, everybody wore all green, all blue, all purple, all orange, yellow. I mean, glitter all over their face. I mean, it was crazy. They had their hair spray painted. Uh, some of the counselors had uh, sparkles in their beards. Like it was crazy. Uh, face paint going crazy. I mean, it was, it is a sight to behold. It is so fun. And then, uh, let's see. Dude, this stuff is everywhere. All string. And then my roommate, uh, Luke, he got me this. I don't know where he got it, but it's awesome. So I'm definitely going to take this and I'm going to set it up there just because it's awesome. And he's actually going to be there too. He's coming back, which is awesome. So many people are coming back this year and I am so excited to see them all. Uh, uh, do I need two? I mean, pink isn't really, really a color there either. I will, I'll leave this one over here and letters and beads. I don't really need these, but I might just take them, take them just in case, in case someone needs them. Cause the, sharing is a huge part of this camp as well. Uh, like this, uh, this, what this goes on your hand and it's, uh, it was also for green team. So if I can get it on, gosh. So I mean, imagine me wearing all this green, green, just everywhere, everywhere, face paint, glitter in the beard. I mean, it, it is, it was so fun. We're just, and Color Wars is basically, you do a bunch of sport, sporting activities and whoever wins the most wins the whole thing. So, so fun, so fun. Uh, some stickers and then the other, oh, I never explained what this was. So I bought a shirt. And then I cut off the sleeves. <laughs> so this is a sleeve. Don't know why I kept it, but I did. All right. Uh, I think that's it for this box. And we got some decisions made. Uh, uh, so I can definitely throw away some of these things. Keeping some. Well, taking some. I don't have to take these clothes. Don't have to take the... Well, I can't take the peanut butter. And I can't... And I'm not going to take the tennis balls. Don't need to. Gonna leave one cup here, take one cup, uh, and then for, I'll just take one. So one of those headbands. So uh, I think that's it for this round of uh, packing up for camp. And I also, I guess I can take this off now. Um, I also wanted to clear up what my job is. I always say I'm a counselor just because it's a well-known thing of what a counselor is and what a counselor does. 
and uh, I didn't want to raise more questions than uh, I answered, so I always say counselor. But my actual job is I am a waterfront assistant, so I don't take care of any of the kids in their cabins or anything like that. I have my own cabin, kind of, I don't want to say, it's like, it's just off in its own section, like where the kitchen staff are, where the other waterfront staff is, uh, where the office staff is. Uh, they're all made up of kids, like my age, and like 18 to older. Uh, but as a waterfront assistant, I I drive boats all day. I literally drive boats all day. Best job in the world. I can't, can't believe I found this job. Doesn't even feel like work. You know how you have a job and you go to it and you are having the time of your life and someone says, oh, what do you do for a job? And you're thinking like, what do I do for a job? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, I do this. But you don't you don't really think of it as a job because you love it so much. This is this is that exact thing. So I get to drive boats all day. Uh, uh, at the beginning of I don't say the year of the semester of the of the camping thing, uh, I I do a lot of setting up of the waterfront. So they have a bunch of water toys in there. Uh, we have to set up the dock. We have to put uh, some fans up in the water to blow away, I guess, disrupt the the water flow for growth of seaweed. Uh, I'll go out and I, I mow the seaweed. So I have a giant like razor going on the back and I'll get it at the bottom and I'll just be chilling in the boat, just cutting seaweed, just motoring along. It is hilarious. And it's kind of relaxing too. So it's, um, but other than that, I will play, once I'm done with that, I also do, uh, so they have like a prime time, which is where they do like one activity and it's like a big thing that the whole camp does. So sometimes during prime time, I will be driving cabins tubing. I'll take them tubing. And that is actually one of my favorite things because I am completely in control. I decide if they fall off or if they stay on. And of course, you're not supposed to throw them off because, you know, safety reasons. And it also takes a while for them to get back in. So you're not really supposed to throw them out. But uh, I'm good enough. I'm a good enough driver where I can, where they'll have a good time and uh, I, I won't throw them out. But if, if there is anyone I want to throw out, I totally can. I have, I can do that. <laughs> and it's, it's awesome. So that's my primary objective for uh, my job this summer. I'm not technically a camp counselor, but it's just easier to say, you know. Uh, some of the other things I do is we have an invasive species at our lake and we have to rake snails every morning, which isn't as bad as it sounds. It, it's basically just the shells and uh, we'll just rake them into piles and put them into buckets. Uh, clean up the beach, you know, make it look good. Um, let's see, what else do I do? Oh, I fill up the boats and I take care of them. I'll clean clean them out and all that stuff because, uh, you know, kids getting in and out sometimes. Uh, I, I know it's mostly water, but uh, we also have shoes on there. So we'll, we'll attract dirt in there. We'll track dirt in there. So that is what I will be doing over the summer. And now y'all know exactly what my job is, which is awesome. I'm glad y'all now officially know I don't have to say camp counselor. I probably will say uh, counselor just because if there are new people watching, if I say waterfront staff, uh, they'll probably just ask questions. So it's easier just to say camp counselors. But all y'all who have watched this video will now know I am a waterfront staff. So uh, on the docket for the day, uh, let's see, it is probably, it's about 6.30 right now, and I need to go eat dinner. Uh, I actually haven't really eaten that much today. Oops. And I've been playing Catan. I know, I know. It's just so addicting. I love it. It's so fun, having a great time. But, uh, oh, I also watched The Intern. I don't know if y'all seen that. It's this movie right here, oh, with Anne Hathaway and Robert De Niro. Great movie. I've watched it so many times. And uh, I added one more today. So, uh, But tonight is the last night or last time for this semester that we are playing crew basketball. Uh, Colson actually gets to come this time because it's not in the middle of Friday. Normally we do it at 12 o'clock on Friday. And of course he's working. So uh, now 
we get to have Colson come. And I am going to try to get first pick so I can get Colson because he's an absolute legend. Uh, hopefully Matt doesn't try to take him because, oh, man, I really want to play with Colson. Oh, man, it would be so easy. Ah, so excited, so excited. Oh, man, I cannot wait. Um, but I'm going to go eat right now and then we're going to head off at about 7.15 so we can be there at 8 o'clock and, uh, yeah, we're going to have a great time today. All right. See you guys in a little bit. Okay. So I was downstairs and I am heating up my biscuit right now from Bojangles from this morning. Uh, yes, I know I haven't eaten it <laughs> and it's 6.15, but, uh, I went downstairs and I looked at the temperature. I don't turn the air on up here. Uh, don't know why. I just don't need the air going. It, it just feels like an extra expense to me that even though I'm not paying, I still feels good to feel like I'm contributing to saving money, if that makes any sense. But uh, it is, I don't know if y'all can see that. It's 84 degrees up here, which is hot. And in that room, it's uh, just slightly warmer. Uh, I have windows in there that the sun beats in on, so it gets a little warmer in that room. And about right here, like right here, it, you can feel the temperature change. It's kind of crazy. Um, and then down here, it is, you know, see, hard to see, but it's 75. So I come down here and it feels freezing, <laughs> even though it's probably just normal. But <laughs> there's my biscuit. Oh man, I'm so excited, I'm so hungry. And uh, then after I'll probably have some donuts from last night. Oh man, I'm so excited to eat. I'm so hungry. I've only eaten pretzels today and some M&Ms. So let's get to eating. Set off. All right, got my ball, got my bag. And uh, as I was driving over here, there are a ton of people at the bell tower taking pictures in their white dresses. And well, I don't really know what guys wear. They just wear their gowns, I guess. Uh, there's also a softball game going on over here. I know it's just a brick wall, but behind the brick wall, they're playing softball. <laughs> and uh, they got a bunch of graduation stuff set up because graduation is this Saturday. So uh, that's very exciting for them. Congratulations to all the graduates of 2024. And uh, I'm gonna head in and uh, we're gonna pick some teams. And that is it. I'll be back in three months. Bye everybody, see you. What's up guys? All right, uh, just getting some gas right here and uh, I'm sitting in the back of my car and I never sit back here cause I'm always driving and I'm like really high up. It feels really weird, but uh, you know, uh, tonight was amazing. So uh, we had about 30 people, so six teams and uh, Colson came, Tyler came, Matt came, a, almost all of the uh, like crew team. Cooper wasn't there though, but I know they're just names to y'all, I'm sorry. But uh, so for captains, everybody knows I'm gonna pick Colson, and I, I called first pick, and they they didn't realize that. And then when we were when we started picking, uh, they they saw that I was gonna pick Colson, so they were like, no, 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 you you can't do that, you can't pick Colson. And so, uh, well, they said I couldn't have first pick, so I started going down. <laughs> I they ended up uh, making me fifth pick. <laughs> I was like, oh man, come on. Uh, but I got a solid squad out of it. And uh, uh, it's also snake, so like for picking, so first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and then sixth gets two picks, and then it goes back, fifth, fourth, third, two, one. So uh, we, we did the snake. So I got two like mid-middle picks, I guess. They were, it was basically first and second picks. 
I know, you know what I'm talking about. But um, I think we either had a tying record or the best record. We were three and one on the night. We we had some comebacks. Will went off. David went off. I went off. I mean, our whole team was a squad, and it was so fun. Uh, and this is actually David's last time hooping here at NC State. I know y'all don't know who that is, but uh, <laughs> he's a he's a leader at Crew, and he is, is he, he's a senior, so he's graduating on Saturday. Congratulations to David. Uh, said my goodbyes to him and all the boys, and it was you know kind of sad. Uh, I took two pictures here for us. Actually, you'll probably just see one. I, they're the same picture, <laughs> uh, just twice. But uh, I'm gonna miss him for three months. But uh, you know, I can't wait until I see him again. Uh, gas just clicked. It was 52, 67, 15.9 gallons at uh, three dollars and 29 cents. <laughs> okay, dokes. Uh, I'm gonna go home and eat some dinner, and uh, we'll finish out the day strong with a with some good food, a shower, and just chilling in bed. All right, guys. See you at home. Okie dokes, guys. Took a shower, ate dinner, watched some YouTube, and I'm going to head to bed. I'll see you guys tomorrow.